Okay, so we are in BMS. This is not the DCS now. This is the old Falcon uh, BMS sim. As you can see, um, very reminiscent pa noong 1998 na Falcon yung graphics. Although, I mean, in terms of resolution and everything else, medyo okay naman siya. And they really updated everything. I mean, function functionality-wise, this is really quite an impressive uh, sim, no? And almost everything uh, that you can do in the DCS F16, you can also do here. In fact, up until uh, siguro nung ano, uh, mga a year ago, I would still say that the this uh, Falcon 4 BMS F16 was superior to the DCS one. No? Pero now, I'm having my doubts kasi, look, for instance, uh, right now we are tasked to destroy a bridge. So I turned on air to ground mode so that we can have access to the ground radar and automatically yung right MFD inventory, I will turn on the uh, two GBU-31s. And sila, dalawang GBU-31, uh, uh, ano to? JDAMs. So, turned on na sila. And here's the ground radar. For one thing, look. The ground radar, if I do this, yung expanded view, and enhance it with DBS-1 and DBS-2, wala siya nung parang Doppler problem na which happens in real life. So, parang very accurate siya. Which is weird. No? I mean, in terms of Realism, parang hindi ako solve sa realism ng radar ngayon. Especially kasi yung terrain, I mean, look at the terrain. The terrain is uh, still reminiscent of the old Falcon and it's terrible, no? So talagang graphics-wise, talagang may hindi na, inferior na talaga ang ano, ang BMS. Pero still, there's some things to be happy about uh, and I'll show to you later kung ano to. But right now, I need to get busy because we need to set up for this. Steer point 7 tayo, malayo pa naman, so we still have lots of time. Pero let's check out the autopilot. So right now, we can uh, select yung steering. Yung left and right mouse button talaga, reverse dito eh, kaya nakakalito minsan. Pitch and hold. Yeah, attitude pitch and hold kasi I think 27,000 feet is good enough. So, I'm basically uh, using the autopilot to control the F-16. Oh, may contrails din siya kasi we're above, uh, ano na, 25,000 feet. Okay. Pero, very crude. Okay. So, ayan, I'm supposed to be looking at the uh, target area, pero, hindi ako sold eh. I mean, oh look, may mga weird na ginagawa yung radar. Now, I'm not supposed to be seeing that. Okay, first, I want to modify uh, yung... You know, just to be sure na accurate tayo, what I did was to carry along a targeting pod. Ayan, may TGP tayo. It looks like a lightning pod, but it might be something else. And may wingman nga pala tayo dun, as you can see in the distance. He's just an observer. So anyway, I am... Oh look, ayan na, lumalabas na yung bridge on the radar display, that's the white dot, and it's not centered. So, but ang hirap, hindi ko siya ma-enhance. Meaning, graphics-wise talaga, mas maganda na talaga ngayon ang, I'm gonna pause for a bit kasi I wanna talk about this. Um, limitations of the graphics, I mean, kasi kahit nababagandahin ng, ano, ng Falcon BMS yung, ano, yung radar display for terrain. The problem is the terrain itself doesn't have any contours. All it will show will be roads. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman yung road and what appears to be the bridge, which is a white dot. We can increase probably. Let, let's try it. Pero before we do that, I just need to know. 1 minute, 37 seconds kasi to the target. Eh, kaya if I have time while talking, kasi sometimes when I get carried away with talking, Nakakalimutan na natin yung dapat gawin. Pero in this case, there's a white dot there and I won't bother na lang with ano. Kasi the point here is, the reason why I carried the TG TGP, kasi 
if we can switch over to the DGP here. Taka, let's switch mo na ako sa DGP. Ah, meron palang button dito yung TGP. I need to turn it on. Bal dalian natin. Okay, it's not yet soy. Uh, wide, uh, ano to? Black hot. Malayo pa eh, kaya hindi ko pa makita. We're in narrow now. Pero you will see na may offset. And di kita naman sa radar eh, na may konting offset to the left of the target of the white dot. Pero let's try to adjust gain. Ano bang ginagawa nito? Nag-work ba to? Kasi... Parang trinay ko kanina and it's, ayun, medyo <laughs> nag-improve ng konti. Actually, hindi. Pangit pa rin. It should be darker kasi I just want to highlight the, ano eh, the, the spot eh, yung white dot. And now, I, I won't talk kasi I just need to adjust that spot. I want to adjust the spot eh. Uy, bakit ayaw? When in fact, I am, ayun, 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 ayan. Diba, na-adjust ko na. So, let's see sa TGP kung nag-adjust. Ayun, look at that. Nag-adjust din sa TGP. So, nag-respond yung TGP. And now, I can actually like, shift. Ayan. So, SPI na siya. Sensor point of uh, interest. Speed na siya. 23 seconds before the release. So, we're going to release our JDAMs in 18 seconds. So, let's see kung okay ba. Not soy, okay lang. Oh yeah, 10 seconds before release. Ayan na yung ano, bump fall Q. Okay, holding down space bar. Uy, ay hindi, nag-reset siya. Nag-reset. Ito na yung actual 27 seconds. Ayan. Okay, ayan na yung bump fall Q. We're getting ready. I'm going to shift external view once uh, we release para dramatic. Okay, ito na, ito na, ito na. Let's, let's get here. And uh, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. And release. Okay, uy, nakalimutan ko tuloy. <laughs> Na-release na niya, ayun na. Those are the JDAMs going down. Let's shift to the JDAM view. Ayan na sila. The 16 is up there. Uh, the JDAM looks strange kasi this is the armor piercing one, no? AP to kasi we're going to hit a bridge eh, and the bridge is over there. Parang ang layo, no? Parang hindi niya maabot pero let's see. And isang maganda dito na I don't think uh, na view na I don't think DCS has this. You can actually see the bombs fly like that. May fly by view yung bombs. Like, ako na lang sound effects. Galing, no? <laughs> okay. And let's get back to that view and observe the bombs as they keep falling down. Ano, talagang repetitive yung graphics. Tiled yung graphics ng BMS, eh. And that's its main, um, you know, parang weakness. <laughs> Tingnan nyo, parang ano tuloy siya. Parang board game. Yung ano to, yung... Board war game. Ayan na, here comes the bridge and Bung Kananam and the second also hit. So, yun. Mission accomplished. Master Caution uh, turned on kasi wala na tayong ordnance and ki nakikita niya sa TGP that it's totally damaged. Okay. The only reason I actually uh, brought the TGP with me kasi. And we can actually, be, ayan, may SP pala nandun, no? Kita sa ating, A, ano to? Helmet mounted uh, display. Hel HCMD. Helmet queuing and something, blah, blah, blah. So, dyan yung, hindi, yun, yun. Dun banda yung bridge. Anyway, pa na tayo. And uh, I'm not going to continue with this na, no? Pero my point being is, uh, to a certain extent, Falcon BMS is still fun to to play around with. Pero yun nga, um, in terms of graphics, <laughs> uh, hindi na masyado na, na pabayaan na talaga siya. No? In fact, uh, medyo clunky pa rin yung ibang mga ano dito, lighting and so on. Ayan, uh, on na yung lights and then console lights. 
okay pa rin, pero of course, it's showing its age. Yan, I think that's the word I'm looking for. I mean, I mean, or not word, I mean yung phrase. It's showing its age. But still, yun nga, I mean, still fun. As you can see, we blew, blew up a bridge. I might even do like a comparison side by side. Ang ganda no, gawa tayo ng video na side by side comparison between BMS and DS DCS. Same type of mission, bridge uh, busting with the same type of bombs. Oo. Ano yan? Air to air threat? Ito lang, ito lang maganda kasi sana. And th <laughs> that's the other F 16, which is uh, that guy over there. Yung wingman ko. Anyway, ang maganda lang talaga sa din sa BMS is the fact na well, the campaign is truly dynamic. It's a living battlefield na hindi pa rin magawa-gawa ng DCS but reportedly in 2022, we will see uh, more of that in DCS. Okay, so that's it for this uh, Falcon 4 BMS video. I hope you enjoyed it and sayonara. Let's bye-bye.